Remember the young lady that carries uh, Sunday blessing? Yes. Uh, she said she's not going to be able to be here Sunday mm -hmm. because uh, she has to go back to New York to take care of her dad. He's kind of he's pretty sick. So pray for her. Pray for her father. He has uh, like old age mm -hmm. Is she going to be moving back there? No, she says she'll be back, but she oh. has to go take care of him. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you and praise you for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We ask, you, Lord, that you bless our hearts and our minds and our spirit. Lord, we ask you to take special note of the prayer request that's been made known unto you, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that you comfort the hearts of those that are the bereaving, those that are going through, especially in these one-year anniversaries, Lord. We ask that you strengthen, send forth to the comfort and peace that passes all understanding. And, Lord, you grant traveling mercies and Oh, let our traveling Lord, to take care of loved ones. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless the Bible study on today. Send forth your words of comfort, your anointed power, your anointed grace. Grant the go of us, grant words to, to receive that we may get a closer revelation, develop a better revelation and understanding of you. Father, we thank you, we praise you, give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen.
Amen. Amen. It's certainly good once again to be back in the house of the Lord. When we're telling I believe I'm absolutely Amen. But I'm so glad to be here in Jesus' name. Amen. So glad that you are here with us today. Hold it on. Turn with me to the book of Isaiah, Isaiah um, chapter 56. The book of Isaiah is a very powerful, poetic book of prophecy. And the reason why I said it's a poetic book is because Isaiah uses a lot of poetry and imagery uh, in the scriptures uh, as he is led by the Lord. And Remember that the book was written to before the captivity, uh, before the children of Israel went into captivity. Uh, the first half of the book deals with uh, their captivity and why they went into captivity. And the second half of the book deals with God's redemption, God's redeeming, His deliverance. And the book is also centered around Jesus Christ as the suffering servant, as the king, and as the one who would come and comfort all of God's people. And uh, Isaiah 56, uh, Isaiah 56, uh, to deal with uh, another that is, that is in there about our Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, I want to begin reading. Uh, do you feel, will you be my reader today? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Isaiah 56. And uh, I'll begin reading at uh, verse number one. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. he who judgeth and he who judgeth. For my salvation is here to come. And my right to be here. All right. Is that enough? Yeah, that's the ticket number. I'm sorry. I don't have all of my equipment. No, no, no. My tablet. I don't know. Jesus. Um, Isaiah says, Thus saith the Lord. So the Lord. Is speaking through him. And that's important for us to recognize that Isaiah is not speaking these words upon himself, but he was a prophet chosen by God to speak to the nation, to speak to God's people. And he says, Thus saith the Lord, notice what he says, Keep ye judgment. Keep ye judgment. And Basically, he's saying there, perform the judgments of God. And when we think about performing the judgments of God, that word judgments means, means keeping God's decisions according to his word. God said, thou shalt not kill. That's a judgment of God. Uh, thou shalt not have any other gods before me. That's God's judgment. He's decided that, that we should do that. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Those are the judgments of God. His, his statutes. What he has declared for his people. So in order to keep them, you must know them. You must know them in order to keep them. And to know them means to uh, have constant study of his word. To, to immerse yourself in the study of the Word of God. The Bible says in Psalms uh, uh, 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. In order not to walk in the counsel of the ungodly, you've got to know what, the, uh, 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 what God says and what God calls ungodly. Uh, because people can give you good advice. Uh, 
Uh, but it may not be godly advice. So you've got to be able to discern what's good and bad according to the word of God. Amen? He decides, not us. He decides what's good and bad. So his judgments then are his, 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 his rules and regulations by which we ought to follow. Amen? So he says, keep uh, the judgments of the Lord. Then it says, uh, uh, and, and do justice. When you look at the word justice, it, it really refers to a word that's called righteous. Uh, perform the righteousness of God. Justice equals the righteousness of God. And, 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 it's, and it's beautiful that Isaiah would put those two together. Because in, in uh, one hand, it tells you to, uh, it, the word of God can tell you how to deal with the situation. And then on the other hand, God's word can tell you uh, to have mercy upon the individual. Amen? It can tell you, uh, it can tell you uh, one, one hand, it can tell you don't keep company with sinners, uh, with, with fornicators, right? And then, and then, on the other hand, you've got to know when to apply that scripture. Uh, and that's what's called righteousness. When to apply the word of God. And as I was studying this, the Lord told me to tell you, here's a rule to go by. If you're looking to do righteous. He says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Whenever you have a question in your mind, about what you should do concerning a situation, consider yourself. Uh, how, how would I want someone to deal with me concerning this situation? Uh, and, and God has written his laws in our heart. So the right answer will pop up uh, if you just consider yourself. Follow? Ain't hey, that beautiful? Uh, people would pay thousands and thousands. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so he says, he says, notice what he said. He says, read that again, Dee. Thus saith the Lord. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh-huh. For my salvation is here. Now he's telling you why you should do it. Because my salvation, my deliverance. Uh -huh. the, 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 uh, in other words, Jesus Christ is soon to come. Amen? We have to live a certain way uh, in order to be ready when Jesus comes. We're not those that sleep in the night. Uh, we're not those that, 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 are, that are, are, are deceiving ourselves. Jesus is soon to come. And the scripture says your salvation is nearer than when you first believed. Uh, it's close. If we just discern the times and the seasons, we would understand that Jesus is soon to come. Amen? Amen. So, so he tells you, then, you know, in order for you to get yourself in order, you know, do what is right. Uh, 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 pay attention to God's commands. And, and walk and live a life that is dedicated to righteousness, right behavior. Amen? Hallelujah. So in order to do that, you must continually study the word of God. Amen? Because uh, if you don't study God's word and keep yourself in line with the word of God, you'll let it slip. Uh, we don't, uh, uh, that word, let it slip or drift away is a connotation to a boat that is on uh, uh, water. And if it's not tied to the dock, the currents will, will float the boat away from, from the dock, uh, drifting away. And if the current is real subtle, the individual that is in the boat that has gone to sleep, uh, they can uh, drift so far away from the dock uh, that when they wake up, they can say, well, how did I get here? Uh, if we don't pay attention to God's word and hide it in our heart, 
uh, that we don't sin against him, we can, we can drift away from that old landmark. And then when we come to ourselves, we'll ask the same question. How did I get here? <laughs> Hallelujah. So keep yourself anchored in Jesus. Keep yourself tied in Jesus. Amen? Amen? Amen. All right. Now, notice what he says here. He says, he says, and do justice for thy salvation is near to come. Jesus is soon to come. He's the salvation. He's the deliverance. Amen? He's soon to come. Hallelujah. And, and what I love about these scriptures what we're about to get into is don't allow uh, yourself or anybody to deceive you. And I said that intentionally. Don't deceive yourself and don't allow other people or other spirits to deceive you. Amen? Because we can get distracted, can't we? <laughs> Hallelujah. We can get distracted and, and then fall into deception. Uh, be careful what you hear. Uh, Hallelujah. Be careful what you see. Amen. Uh, be careful what you say. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we see it in He says, for your salvation is near and my righteousness is uh, to be what? Revealed. The righteousness of God is Jesus Christ. That's his arm. The arm of the Lord to be revealed. Jesus is going to crack that sky one day. Amen? Uh, stand up there and say, come my people. The dead in Christ are going to rise up first and then we that are alive and remain are going to be what? Caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Then so we shall ever be with the Lord. Huh? And he says, comfort me one another with these words. In other words, don't forget them. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let uh, 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 anything deceive you or persuade you differently. Uh, because we got evil spirits uh, that, are, that are out there that, that will try to seduce us. Uh, uh, to seduce us, to, to move us away, the Bible says, from our own steadfastness. Uh, watch, watch and pray. I love it when the old mother say that. Uh, watch and pray. Uh, watch and pray. There's songs out there. Watch and pray. Uh, you got to watch and pray. <laughs> uh, not just watch, but you got to watch and pray. Hallelujah. Uh, Thank you. Now notice it. Glory be to God. Uh, notice it. He says, and, and my righteousness uh, to be revealed. It's going to be made known. Be made manifest. Amen? Hallelujah. Oh, Thank you. All right, read it. Verse 2. Blessed is the man that is good with uh -huh. and the son of man that is in the that keep now, Isaiah is talking about his advice now. He's saying, Blessed is the man that doeth this. Doeth what? Doeth what specifically? Keep judgment? They do justice? Why? Because the salvation is soon to come. He says, Happy. And uh, is the one that doeth it, the one that's going to find favor with God. Amen? Uh, those that don't do it, they won't be so happy. Think of him. Read and 
understand the will of God and to be encouraged when they were in their captive moments going through. It's important for us uh, to know God's word and have it internalized when we go through uh, dark moments, dark times. Amen? And though we are children of God, we're not exempt from trials and tribulations. We're not exempt from persecution. Amen? Uh, I, I, I'm sure if you're honest with yourself, since you cried out, Abba, Father, you've had some dark times. But what has encouraged you? Uh, the word of the Lord. Jesus himself said, let not your heart be troubled. <laughs> you believe in God, believe also in me. Hallelujah. Am I right? Uh, you will encourage you. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I feed? Amen. Uh, the word is so important. I say it often. And I'm going to say it again because it comes to remember. That, that even when people lose loved ones that are close to them, uh, I've, I've noticed it time and time again that those who are able to deal with the transition of losing their loved ones are better are those that have a relationship with Christ. Those that don't have a relationship with Christ, it seems like they suffer more. Uh, and, and they do things that are destructive and, 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 and that, that does not allow them to overcome. It's better to have a relationship with Jesus than not. Am I right? Uh, your relationship with the Lord, it means something. Amen? Uh, and so count it valuable. And, and, and not only that, if you value it, work on it. Amen? Work on your relationship with Him. I'm sure that we all can do things to improve our relationship with Jesus. Uh, you never reach a plateau where you've got it all. <laughs> uh, there's always something to be done. Am I right? Here, Paul says, I'm reaching. Uh, I, I'm pressing. Uh, I'm forgetting those things that are behind. I'm reaching for those things that are before, and I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God, which is where? In Christ Jesus. That's what we have to do on a continual basis. Amen? Developing that relationship with Him is paramount to anything that you can do in your life. Amen? Hallelujah. Oh, when, when, when it comes time for your obituary to be read, if Jesus is nowhere found in it, uh, though you may have made millions, uh, you are a failure. <laughs> Amen? Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus has to be the center. Uh, amen? All right. Here we go. I know it's hot up in here. Thank you, Lord. We're going to get it cooled down soon. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. What verse do you need? Read that verse again. Two. Blessed is the man that keeps All right. So, the blessed is the individual that, that keeps his judgment uh, and, 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 and does righteousness. All right. Read. And the son of man that lay hold of it. Now, notice. You've got to lay hold on it. Huh? And, and that laying hold on it means that you've got to receive it. You've got to receive it. Receive God's word. Make God's word one with your own life. Amen? Amen. Make it one with your own life. God's word is not something for a believer to take it or leave it. Uh, when, it's not an option when you become a believer because you've already made a choice. He said, if, if any man taketh the plow and does what? Look back. What did he say? He's not fit uh, for the kingdom. Am I right? So, so, so it's not a, it's no, uh, I love it one, one year the Lord revealed this to me and it kind of blew my mind. There, there's no surrender and there's no retreat in him. <laughs> you, don't, you don't surrender to the enemy. Amen? And you don't retreat to the enemy. Uh, you fight on. Am I right? Hallelujah. Uh, you, you make his word.
word walk with you. Amen? Hallelujah. Oh, All right? Read that again, D. Singing, worship, praise. 
Amen. What else? <laughs> Doing the will of God. I will say that. Amen. This is the sin. Meditating on the word. Philippians what? 8 and, and, and 4, 8 and 6. Think on these things. Whatsoever things are loving, whatsoever things are honest. Huh? Am I right? You gotta think according to the scriptures. Huh? So that so that you won't become discouraged. Read for knowledge and understanding the time. Huh? What I mean by that, you know the uh, when you read and pray and seek God for the time, to discern the time, you know what time it is, so you know what's, what should be taking place, and when it's when prophecy and the word of God is being fulfilled, you rejoice. Huh? So you gotta work on not being discouraged. Huh? Yes! Come on! Uh, think about the testimonies of God. Amen? Hallelujah. Now, now I hope, hope I'm not, as they say, Paul said, fighting against the air. I hope that you're receiving what I'm saying so that we can be equipped for the time. Amen? Hallelujah. All right, read. Where we at? Verse 10? 4. When thus said the Lord that he did that he might set Okay, now notice. Oh, Jesus, oh, I'm reading the wrong Okay. Okay, notice what he said. Okay, you read verse number 4. Read verse number 3. When thus said the Lord that he did that he might set and he did that he did. Yeah, I know. We've got to do the things that please the Lord. Am I right? Don't do things to please other people. Don't do things to please yourself. But do things that does what? Please the Lord. And the things that generally you're going to do to please the Lord is going to require a sacrifice. Amen? You've got to be willing to make a sacrifice. Hallelujah. To please the Lord. Present your bodies as a what? Sacrifice. How holy and acceptable unto God. Don't pat yourself on the back because it's your reasonable service. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so you've got to think on how can I please the Lord? What does the Lord require of me? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. My God. In order to, you got to have your mind on you. Huh? Uh, you got to be, be, be conscious of him. Hallelujah. I know that. You in verse number three? You in verse number four? All right, read. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost said, remind him, it's a choice. It's a choice. Choose you this day <laughs> whom you're going to serve. Huh? As for me and my house, we're going to do what? Serve the Lord. That's your choice. And remember, you made your choice when you made Him your choice. Huh? Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, that's a choice. Always choose Him. Alright? Read that again, D. All right, 
Hello. He said, neither let the, 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 the verse number three, neither let the son of the stranger that hath joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, Did you read that verse? Did you read that verse number three? Jeez. And I missed all of that. Step out. I'm used to my time. <laughs> he said, Neither let the son of the stranger that have joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated uh, from, uh, from his people. Now, what he's saying there is, don't let nobody tell you that the Lord has forsaken you. Huh? You can't let yourself believe that lie. <laughs> that the Lord has forsaken you. The enemy, he'll tell you that the Lord has forsaken you. Huh? And, and the unit, uh, he's bringing up a unit as someone that, that, that is uh, not able to bring forth children. That the Lord has forsaken me. Amen? He said, don't, don't believe that. Uh, notice, he said, the Lord has utterly separated from me and his people, neither let the eunuch say, behold, I am a dry tree. The Jews believed that, that people who were not Jewish could not be saved. Amen? Could not be saved. Therefore, they they were heirs to God's covenants of promise. Man, hallelujah! So 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 you've got to know as a child of God that you were at one time a stranger, but when you accepted Christ, you are no longer a foreigner or a stranger. Huh? Uh, at one time, the Bible described us as Gentiles, as with, we were not a people, uh, without God, uh, in this world. But, but, but when we got saved, when we believed in Christ, we became joint uh, citizens, the Bible says, of the commonwealth of Israel. The reason why that's so important is because God made great and precious promises uh, that we are, we are in covenant with, uh, that we uh, uh, can enjoy and have fellowship with. Uh, Y'all with me? Hallelujah. He said, he said, now are you the sons of God. <laughs> uh, and it does not appear what you shall be, but when you see him, uh, and, and that's what we want. We want to see Him. And, and when we study the Word of God, we got to realize that everything that God has said to the chosen people belongs to us. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen? All right? So, 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 so now, okay, now read verse number five. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, verse number four. Uh, all right, so he's saying, now I'm going to say this, what I'm about to say, to those that choose me, that take hold of my covenant, uh, that believes in my word. Are you believers? Yeah. Huh? 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 Have you taken hold of the covenant of God? Huh? Uh, have you had communion with Him? Have you ever drinking of His blood and ate of His flesh? Huh? Uh, have you believed on Christ? Is that yeah. so? So, so, what is it about to say is paramount to to all the great and precious promises? That God has made. And, and don't be discouraged. Don't allow anybody to persuade you differently. Amen? Uh, all right, read. Read that. Uh, verse number five. 
even if you don't write it in my house and within my wall, a place and a name that is there by the son and the Lord. Look, so he's telling you, you that though you're not able to have children, I'm going to give you something that makes you better. Hmm. Uh, I, I, that, that not makes you better, but, but to you would be better than sons and daughters. Huh? Oh, he said, I'm going to give you a name. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give you something huh? that is precious, that is meaningful, huh? oh, that, that is able to, to do great and mighty things in your life if you reference the name. Amen? Um, hasn't God given us something great? Huh? Uh, the name of Jesus. Amen. I preached on Sunday that as many as received him, to them gave him what? Power to become the sons of God. And that's only reserved to those that believe on what? His name. Amen. Uh, there's power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, and I believe that sometimes we become, uh, if you allow me to say it, even with the scriptures. Can I just talk here just for a minute? We, we become too, uh, 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 I don't want to say familiar, but too lackadaisical uh, about God's word. We become too loose with it. Uh, because we hear it so often that, that in our own mind, it, it loses it. In our mind. Huh? In our mind. You follow? In our mind. I could be, uh, 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 if I had a full course meal every day, and uh, I could lose out on the appreciation of having a full course meal every day. Huh? Why? Because it, it's, it's become common unto me. Huh? We, 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 we praise the name. We worship the name of Jesus, and we hear that name so often that that if we're not careful, it becomes common to us, and and we and we can lose out on on the powerful effect that it has. Come on, come on, huh? come on, yes. uh, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, I believe you understand what I'm saying. Uh, yes. uh, and, and not really realizing. That, that this name, uh, the name of Jesus, uh, has, has, has great power and great authority uh, that nothing was really made, uh, that nothing really exists without that name. Come on now. Come on. Uh, all things were made for him uh, and by him and without him, there was nothing that was made. Hallelujah. This name is being called Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful, what? Counselor. Huh? His name, Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father, Mighty God. Huh? Hallelujah. And in that name, there's, there's great deliverance. Huh? Dig it, Bill? Hey!
That's authority. Am I right? Uh, 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 promises he gave you that connects with the authority huh? to become. Huh? You've got to believe, which means to receive and become. God causes you to become the sons of God. Amen. To as many as believe on that name. It's all in that name. Oh, we can't, we got to stop treating that name common. Uh, when you got baptized, you got baptized in what? The name of Jesus. So, so you have the name upon you. Uh, that's why he said, uh, uh, I know what the scripture says. It says, going out, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Uh, I know that. But when the apostles executed it, how did they execute it? In the name of Jesus. So, so they fulfilled that scripture. When we get baptized in the name of Jesus, we get baptized in the name of the Father. When we get baptized in the name of Jesus, we get baptized in the name of the Son. And when we get baptized in the name of Jesus, then it's also connected to receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. But isn't it what that name stands for? Come on! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Sister Carmen. That he died and he rose from the grave. Jesus, for mercy. Come on, Sister Carmen. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. That's what I'm talking about. That's uh, uh, what it stands for. Amen? Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I'm going to be honest. Thank you, Lord. I didn't know my daughter. And I want to do it because what it stood for. It, that quick name to me stands for something. <laughs> but, but that name of Jesus, uh, that name stands for something. Amen? Let me forget about my name. Uh, in fact, I let that song. Let all the other names, or let all the other names pass away. <laughs> Then there's only you, only Jesus. Uh, this win? Or, or did you become and walk into that? It's um, being, it's going through your test and trial. Yeah, they met you. Yeah. And, now, uh, uh, it, it, you know, with, with God, nothing is uh, altogether simplified. There's, there's different compartments, you know? So in order to become, uh, yes, those tests and trials help you to become, but you walking by faith and not by sight. That helps you to become. You hide that word in your heart. Huh? Uh, that helps you to become. Amen? Amen. Uh, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. There's power in that name. Go ahead. Come on! Is that for you that to become? That's part of that. Amen? Notice, it says, These signs shall follow them that what? Believe. Believe in what? The name of Jesus. Like she just said, the gospel of Jesus Christ is what it represents. Amen? Amen. You know, the reason why, why are those seven sons of Sceva? Huh? Uh, why did they get beat up? Because they, they, they said, we adjure you. <laughs> and, 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 and they, uh, that, that Paul preached. Yeah. Huh? But, they said, Jesus we know, Paul we know, but who are you? Why did they beat up? They didn't believe. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't believe mm -hmm. and they didn't know him. That's part of belief. They were, and now we need to the deep here. They just knew about it, but they weren't operating in it. Yeah. Huh? This thing ain't meant for you to just know. It's meant for you to live. Amen? To operate in it. Am I right? Hallelujah. 
That's how you get to know. That's it? Yeah. Then shall you know if you want. Follow along. instructions to do what he say do but that he it doesn't mean that he's going to reveal his complete will of what he's, his will is concerning that particular thing yeah you know we don't know why it seems to us sometimes god is saying no right. and we want him to say yes well if you look at it in a sense god is saying yes yeah. but it's not revealed to us only god knows the outcome amen you know amen. so it's god's will that uh, when, 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 when I pray for somebody, or when you pray for somebody, if they don't get here right away, or if they go on and die, it's God's will that that happens. Yeah. You know, because God has another plan Absolutely. that he didn't reveal to us. Absolutely. Notice the scripture. We know in part, and we see in part. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, David, you know that he went into that sheep, right? That son. Mm -hmm. And uh, son got sick. And David uh, turned his heart, started praying and fasting for the son. The son died. All right? Amen. David didn't curse God. Uh, uh, he got up from his fast and 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 and, and went on uh, to be eventually he himself get restored by the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right? Hallelujah. And, 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 but it was God's judgment that that child died. So Elijah could have prayed, huh? and that prayer would not have been uh, changed because it was already because of God. That's well, right. uh, I miss when? That's why it's so important to know the will of God. Hey! The adversary, the devil, can come in and say, "Oh, you yes. didn't, because your prayer you didn't, it, didn't, it didn't happen." Right. So, they, so the, the, the adversary can throw. Um, discouragement in it. Exactly. That's why it's so important to know the will. Exactly. And not to be discouraged when the adversary puts uh, uh, negative thoughts in your mind yes. about the Lord. Yes. Amen. You got to pray the will of God's done. Yes. Not the will of the dying to be done. That's what Jesus did. Yes. Deacon Bill, let me get up because you got your turn on me. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Sometimes the Lord used that to protect his old people's faith. You know, if you pray for somebody and they don't believe you, that's not going to cause you to move back When the Bible tells us that we have to seek after the, uh, uh, the hidden treasure, that it's talking about Jesus. Yes. And Jesus, in, 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 in many ways, are hidden to us. Yes. Even though we have the Holy Ghost, yes. he, he's hidden. And God does things to reveal his son. Even though there are times it's painful to us, we don't understand. It seems like God is being unfair. But if you really look at the end of the thing, you, you see that God is steady revealing his son. That's what it's all about. He wants you to focus on his son. That's it. Focus on Christ. Yes. Focus on Jesus. Yes. Sir, I would see Jesus. <laughs> yes. Oh, That's what it's about. Yes. And, and, and never lose sight that there is tremendous power in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Never lose sight of that. Amen. All we know, 
rest of the back. Even if the devil will I give. Will I give in my house? If you have the name of Jesus, this is how you must live. Y'all with me? Notice what he said. Also the sons of the strangers, those that were not Jews. We were strangers, right? We now are part of the covenant. Am I right? He says that join themselves unto the Lord to serve him. When we accepted Christ as our Lord and our Savior, we became bone of his bone. Am I right? Flesh of his flesh. And, and you remember when, when God called the children of Israel out of Egypt, he told Moses to go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Pharaoh said, what are you going to do huh, when you go into the wilderness? He said, Moses said, we're going to worship our God. When God brings you out of the wilderness of sin and shame, <laughs> um, into his holy church, he wants you to serve him. He wants you to worship him. Uh, uh, to give your life totally to him. Amen? What does the word Lord mean? Uh, but, Laws. Rule. Hallelujah. So if he's the boss, is there any other boss? Huh? And, and if I think I'm the boss, what can I must do? Serve him. Humble myself, submit to him, and serve him. Am I right? Huh? 
Son Jesus Christ, we still haven't done justice. That's right. You know, because that name is so great. So great. It's so great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. Amen. And don't don't let nobody deceive you. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody trick you. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Y'all love it because y'all pressed y'all way out to. 